Good evening, Interweb. Tonight we're looking at a new game, new for me anyway, called Discourse. It's a island survivor, choose your own adventure type thing. Um, I, I played around it just long enough to see what it's like, uh, but I haven't really done anything. So, uh, apparently the only person you can play as, uh, or at least the only person I can figure out how to play as, is Rita, uh, a female, um, not quite Vente, locally sourced, hometown is Brownsville, employer is Jittering Job, she worked for Coffee Company, and she enjoys quite uneventful flights. Sorry. Uh, yes. So you can use a keyboard or uh, a joystick to move around. Uh, looks like it's very simple controls, so let's move forward. I don't know if you can hear that. Just... Oh, oh here, here's Rita. My brain feels like it went through a coffee grinder. It feels like I've been laying out here for hours. What's all this crap on the beach? Wait, a plane crash? But I was... Oh no! Alright, stay calm, Rita. I, I don't know what she was. Other than say that she, she was on the plane. Uh, I don't know, maybe something else. Uh, obviously the graphics are very simple. But uh, I don't know. It, it kind of gives it a a, a unique, unique. It gives it a very unique look. Um, hopefully the the play style is good. I, I missed something there. I can't believe this is real. It's a good thing I wasn't in that seat. That's my seat. Good old twenty one C. I wonder if things would have gone differently if I was in a window seat. What the heck was a frying pan doing on a plane? They're closing in on us. Some closing in on someone. Huh? What the heck was that? And, and that's about as far as I got through the first playthrough. So we're now caught up. Everything from here on out is new to me. So. Let's explore this area. Okay, we can't get through here. It's very... For, for a kind of choose your own adventure type thing, I, I feel very restricted as to what I can do. I can wait out in the ocean. I should go check out that noise. Not yet. Uh, I guess I was triggered by getting this far to the right. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, go investigate, Rita. That's all we can do. They're calling for backup. Uh, they're all going to sound alike, sorry. It's Teddy. Hi, Teddy. We to Who is this guy? Totally surrounded. Make sure you aim for their eyes. It will scramble the chips in their brain. Chips in their brain? Doesn't matter, we're done for. Steve, somebody else is approaching. Alright, so this is Steve and Teddy. She's probably here to feast on us just like the crabs. I don't like Teddy. Are you talking about me? You're totally clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Yes, I think Teddy is. Now might be a good time to help us. I just mean, seriously, they're just crabs. Yeah. They're just crabs. This should not be a problem, guys. We do something ourselves, but we're afraid to make any sudden... They're just crabs! Alright, Steve has a stapler. And Teddy has a metal detector. Okay, so we can use our frying pan. Oh, it looks like... Do we have a choice here? We rescue one and the other one gets pinched up. 
I think a metal detector would be more useful than a stapler. But I don't like Teddy. Sorry, Teddy. We can get the... Uh, we can get your metal detector after that. Uh, should we attack? Or just scare them off? Let's attack them. I've heard if we scare them off, they'll go swarm Teddy. So, let's... No, let's just scare them. I was right. Yes, Teddy, they are fierce crabs. I'm sorry your legs are torn up, Teddy. Alright, so we scared the crabs off Steve and they attacked Teddy and now his legs are hurt. Uh, okay, and so there are others. So we have Rita, Steve, and Teddy. Yes, Rita, there are other survivors farther inland. I'm Steve. This is Teddy. Let's get going. Alright, where's my frying pan? None of these weird plants and twigs look edible. Even if they were, it doesn't look like they would taste very good. So apparently, food's gonna be a problem. Uh, they're not gonna let me go out in the water. I can't get through here. Yes, uh, I'm feeling I. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's just go. Shut up, Teddy. Just shut up. Oh yeah. All right. So, Teddy thinks we're crabs. That's okay. Teddy's an idiot. Alright, so here we are. Yes, I'm another survivor. Thank you. There's six of us all together. Come on, Mr. Betsy. Come have a seat. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if anyone else knows what's going on. Alright, yeah, so uh, Teddy tells us I found them on the beach. Oh my god, that's awful. What's your name? Rita. I'm Jolene. Hi, Jolene. You look like, you look like a retiree from Florida. So we got Jolene, the retired Florida mother. And her husband, George. The little league coach. Hi, George. And uh, Garrett, Nebulord90. Known online as Nebulord. I like Nebulord better. We'll get along with it. Are you supposed to have pointed ears? I don't know if that's a costume or just the art style. But it's a cool shirt. A little stained. You can watch that. It looks like Polaroid cameras. No, I bet those are supposed to be bags of food. Yeah, Nebulord, that sounds like something he would do. Yeah, so, yeah, anyone tell, where exactly are we? None of us are really sure. All we know is we're on an island. This island is pretty big. We have no clue what kind of stuff would be on the other side. There's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away, and we have no idea what's over there. Oh, you started making the best of a serious situation. I got this fire built, and we got started on some shelter. So far, all we've got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. And the pig just took the pretzels. Cheese Louise and sweet cream cheese! Oh no, the pretzels are all your food. Oh darn. Those were going to be such a well-balanced meal for us. Steve's a little sarcastic. I like Steve. What if there are those, those pig monsters out there? Rita, you come with me? And George. George and me. Both of us. Let's get this board. 
Lady, are you insane? Hunting a wild boar? You, no, it's not a good idea. We have no weapons, and wild, extremely dangerous. You want to... Okay, Jolene is insane. We are not listening to anything Jolene says. Camera? Who has a camera? Stay here and defend the few resources we've got left. That's actually a good idea. Oh, Jolene, how can you say you don't trust us? We've got to trust each other. No, I don't... You, I don't like your plan, Rita. Jolene, I'm Rita. I think it's a horrible plan. Oh, Lord. No. I, I, want, I want to go after it and see what will happen. I really do. But... Uh, I'm not ready. Uh, let's, let's... Okay. Realistically, I, no, I would not go after the wild boar. Not without weapons. So, let's stay here, protect what we have left, and not run out into the desert. Why is it a boar in the desert? How do we have a desert if we're on an island? The ocean's right there. So, I don't think it really qualifies as a desert. Someone else up for it? Rita is right. We should stay here. Jolene thinks we're all cowards. But that's okay. Because at least we're going to be alive. Okay. Alright, so that's the last we're going to see them. We've got food and fire here. It could definitely attract some wildlife. Well, actually, fire shouldn't attract wildlife. We need a plan to defend the food, because another boar is coming, and we only got two bags of pretzels left. I say we throw a teddy to the boars. Oh, well, I scared off the crabs, but boars are territorial. But why don't you just pick up the food and hide to it? I don't... Grab the food and hide... Okay, no, that's not an option. So I can see somebody else to do it. I can do it myself. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I got this, guys. Stay at the ready. We'll try to watch your back. I don't know how much use I'll be after the battle on the beach, but I'll do my best. Positions, everyone. Here they come. Again, just pick up, pick up the pretzels, and we can just walk away. Steve's still got a stapler. Teddy can be... No, don't damage the metal detector, Teddy. Right, stand our ground. Garrett got hurt. Did I hit Garrett? It looked like I hit Garrett. Did I hit Garrett? What the heck was that, Garrett? I thought I could help. You fought off the board. Looks, looks like the other ones are leaving. Yay, we win. I don't know if I'd call that a win, Garrett. Oh, Garrett likes me. I don't want to... Uh, uh, yeah, thanks for trying. It was stupid, but thanks for trying. I don't want to tell him worry about himself. Tell him worry about himself, then he won't help. I appreciate the thought, Garrett. I really do, Garrett. It was... It was a very kind thought. All right, Teddy, hears something. Throw something at it. Throw something! Beat her to death. Really, I think we'd be better off without Jolene. She's insane. What? She in the band? They told us their plan. Oh, that sounds accusatory. Just welcome back. I, I am glad you're alive. I think it was a stupid idea for you to go off on your own, but I'm glad you're back. Shut up, Steve. Didn't even bring back the board, no. But I had some... Okay. 
So now she's blaming us because uh, for her failure. Well, we had to. Okay. No, Jolene is not. Of course, Teddy, you didn't do so well either. If that, if that is it, Jolene, you are screwed up, I would say it. But no. Alright, so we need to fill up fighting. Or we should just get some rest. Or let's, let's not piss off Jolene. Uh. We need to stop fighting. We do need to stop fighting. And get rest. We need both, but. Let's just try and get some rest. And we can pick this up again tomorrow. We need to protect the pretzels. Or we could just divvy them up now and eat them. Well, I question the idea of eating salty snacks if we don't have a source of water. We need to find water, Steve. Huh, suitcase. Steve, good job, Steve. Uh, we set up a bit of a shelter early this morning. Why don't you grab a torch from the fire and let's get some sleep. I will lay odds that the pretzels will be missing in the morning and it's going to cause more fighting. What do you think? You think? That sounds like something that would happen. Oh, I, I can get to... Oh, it's getting dark. Um... We should take the pretzels with us, guys. No? Okay. Pretty decent shelter. No. Well, I guess all things considered. It looks like a little bit of a crap shack to me, but... It is our home for now until we ask you. So the shelter is home. Torch won't last forever. I should have enough to talk to a few people. Uh, so this means I don't get to talk to everyone. Alright. Uh, let's talk to Jolene. This is going to be like the time George and I went camping on the beaches in South America. That does sound like an adventure. All the stories I could tell. So, so Jolene and George have been camping in South America. So they may know a little bit about Wilderness Survivor. Why is it odd to ask why you don't sleep with your husband? Snoring habit. Okay. Yeah, every day is going to be long, Jolene. It's going to be one long, horrific, horrific day. Jolene, you're too optimistic. You really are. She has a lighthearted attitude considering our situation. I was brought up to always look on the bright side, darling. I suppose that is a good thing. Okay, Jolene, yes, it would have been nice to have Boar, but it was a stupid plan. It really was, without a weapon. Well, George has his fishing rod, so yeah, we could just start fishing tomorrow. Good night, Jolene. Alright, so I can talk to George. Let's talk to Gandalf here. What was his name? Garrett? Bet you've never been on an adventure like this before. Virtual reality is pretty advanced these days. Doesn't hold a torch to these past hours. I can't exactly emulate starvation or dying. No. No, Garrett, you can't. We're probably going to die out here. No extra lives. No safe games. <laughs> Nothing to help us. It's hopeless. Yeah, you're right, Garrett. We're gonna die. Just go ahead. Give it up. If, it, if there were real-life cheat codes we could use. It sure was crazy fighting off those boars. Those things are definitely not to be able to... Yes, I agree. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in the game. They may still be. We don't know. There may be stuff tougher here, Garrett. I mean, that's the start. That's the first thing. We've, well, Craig has crabs. Crabs and boars. You know, actually, there's plenty of food here. We just have to catch it. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm actually a first level warrior. Yeah, that was pretty intense, Garrett. I wish Jolene hadn't bailed. We're going to need to learn to stick together. She scares me. 
Jillian seems pretty sure about what she does. She's been to South America, camping. So, we're definitely going to need to learn to work with her. Yes. I think she's potentially useful. She's just overconfident and crazy and insane. That shit nuts. This adventure is hard, that's for sure. Time to regenerate my hit points. Good night. Oh my god, if I was really stuck with this guy, I think I would kill him. Alright, one more chat. Uh, I didn't really get to talk to these two, but I have met them. Um, sorry about your legs, Teddy. Uh, let's talk to him. We got, I want to find out a bit more about George and Jolene. I'm ready for a good night of sleep. Or her. Yeah, we'll see how sleeping on the sand goes. Sand crabs. Oh, I suppose we can't be too picky. Jolene mentioned you snore really loudly in your sleep. Is this something we should be worried about? Not all for me, it's not that bad. Jolene just started complaining about that recently. It never used to be an issue for her. I don't know why it's such a big deal lately. Because that's the way it goes, George. You, you get married, you move in together, and then all these little things that were never a problem suddenly become a huge problem. That's just how it works. That's life. Deal with it. That's not what I said. What a roller coaster day this has been. What do you mean? Just this whole experience. I mean, you hear about it on television and things, but you never expect it to happen to you. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It's horrible. But here we are, stuck on the island. Imagine the story we will be able to tell when we finally get off of this thing. <laughs> oh, why, yeah, why are you so optimistic, George? Nobody gets saved. Usually they die. I don't know. You think we'll survive? I don't want... Uh, uh, but... Uh, yeah, why are you so optimistic? You actually think we're going to get off this thing? Well, you have to think that way, otherwise it ain't ever going to happen. Yeah, that makes no... Well, I just keep your spirits up. You gotta hate... You know, you're in a situation like this. You have to... You have to be happy about it. And... Well, not happy, but... You have to think positive. You start letting yourself get down, and then that's the first step to... Giving up. And if you give up, you're not going to make it. So, it's a good attitude. It does make sense, George. I'm going to need some rest. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, George. Torch is too low. Time for me to get some sleep. I go here to... Well, they, they had a bed ready for me. It's almost as if they knew I was going to be here. I don't trust them. Um, yeah, well, it, no, it doesn't look comfortable. Do I have an option to go anywhere else? I should have checked that first. I should have searched. I should have searched before laying down. Too late. Day two. Day two on this desert. Looks like we actually made it through the first night alive. Yay. I'm ready to get some things done today. I don't think you should be doing anything, Steve. You, you, you're antagonizing. You really are. Don't antagonize, Jolene. See, now she, want, now she just wants to know what you mean by that. And she didn't. She was trying, Steve. I. Right. Okay. Yes, Jolene. Please stay with us. Let's work together. Well, Steve, you didn't do anything, so let's be fair. Teddy, why are you wearing three watches? Teddy's Teddy's scaring me. What? He suspects Garrett of what? Something? Why me? I think I just need some coffee. Caffeine withdrawal makes me feel like I'm in college again. Okay, so we're still fighting. Drinking something usually helps. 
not so proper. I want to check the wreckage for supplies. Maybe my string of bad luck will. Yeah, okay. Good job, Steve. Go do that. Go check the wreckage. We need water. We need to signal for help. Let's find water first. I don't see why we can't explore the crash right front site to find the water, but let's find some water. So, all right, guys. Why don't I see if there's a lake on a desert island? All right. Good, good point, George. The boars have to be eating something, drinking something, unless they're vampire boars. They suck blood. I don't really want the carrot to come with me. Okay, George, yes. George and Garrett. Teddy's gonna stay and watch the camp. Okay, yeah, so we split up into three groups. Steve and Jolene went to search, and uh, George and Garrett were looking for water. Oh, your pole got broken. That's no good. A broken fishing pole. Oh, we have ocean. You could fish in the ocean. We could catch crabs. Crabs are edible. And Garrett has a game break. Well, at least we have something to do. We won't be bored as long as the batteries last, which won't be long. You call it Bricky. And you call it a her. Garrett, that's sad. That really is sad. Now don't start fighting, guys. The scary mustache man didn't mean it. Let's focus. We're here to find water. There's no water out here. Let's not give up just yet. There's got to be some trace of water around here. Let's split up and search the vicinity. Alright, so, okay, I can look at this. What is this thing? That would appear to be an old dried up pool. Frame rate started crawling all of a sudden. I don't know why. Water probably flows into it rain. So we can get water if it rains. There was definitely water here. It won't help as much because it's dry as a bone now. Things to look at. Let's look at this. It's not much cooler in the shade. I'm roasting out here. The scarf probably isn't helping. No. You're wearing a scarf. I thought it was a bandana. What are these? Some sort of plant? Oh, those! Animal tracks. Animals need to drink. How about if we follow these, we will find water. Let's look around, and then we'll go. Okay, so we have a plan. Another crack in the dusty ground. Dry. Maybe if we could dig. Okay, so it's hot and dry is what I'm getting. Everything's hot, dusty, dry. They are cact. These are square cacti. Alright, nothing left to do but follow the tracks. Ready to go? Let's go. Let's head out. Let's follow the tracks. This is a stupid plan. No, it's the only plan we got. That's all we have. That's all we can do. Hey, look, water! We found it. We made it. There is water. All right. And something is moving in the pond. Yeah, George. 
let's trust him when he said there's something in there and not send Garrett to his death. We don't know what's out here. There could be something dangerous in that water. Jerry, why don't you prove yourself? I mean, I, I thought you knew how to survive. This seems very stupid. I mean, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Garrett, but... Oh, I'll get the water. I'll get it. I think George should do it, but you gotta keep looking. I'll get the water. Three? No, there's six of us. We need leeches. Oh, come on, get yeah. We're gonna ask Garrett, so Garrett feels useful. <sighs> Garrett. So, uh, Garrett. Yeah, Garrett's out cold. Garrett's out cold. He got some leeches on him, and he freaked out. And he ran into the rocks. All right. Well, um, so this looks like a good place to stop. Garrett's laying on the ground, dying or something. And um, next time we'll come back and we'll find out how he's doing. And uh, we'll hopefully uh, make some uh, way to uh, achieve something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'll be honest. But... Uh, it, it does seem like a pretty fun game. Uh, like I said, the, the, the art style takes some getting used to, but it looks like it's going to be fun. And hopefully it won't take too long. We can get a whole full playthrough going. And like I said, uh, it's supposed to have multiple endings based on how you play through. So uh, even if we get through one and one of you wants to try it out, then you can try it and maybe get a different ending. But for now, good night. Good luck and pleasant dreams.